And my brother got me something for my birthday. Hold on one second, I want to show you. But I had a thought today, and also had a thought a couple days ago, that I wanted to discuss with you guys, and it is the topic of fidget spinners. internet friends how are we doing today how are we guys they were not the bright the happiest sunshiniest except sassy she's good hi sassy girl so why the dogs are not happy this morning there are people outside this time around this time of year nursing homes will come to our house to fish and with a bunch of elderly people, we do not need a Riddler on top of them. <laughs> or an MRL. Luckily, MRL is not bad about jumping onto people. Because I, like, grabbed that early on. I was like, no, you don't do it. Um, hi, Riddler. Good morning. Um, speaking of MRL being on people, so he about injured me this morning. Darn dog. Love him, though. I had my arm, my left arm, up like this on the bed, trying to get up, and he sat on my arm and brought my elbow down. It hurt, and then it was swollen for a little bit, but it's not broken because I can still move it. See? Still feels a little funny, but I guess it's not bad. You're licking me! <laughs> so, little boy almost injured me. Oh, look, there's Loki. Woohoo! Thumbs up for Loki, man. But I can't be mad at this little angel. Look at him. Just look at him. I may work on some training with him today. I was in the bathroom and working on a little bit of training. We've been working on up, which means he has to have his half of his upper body on me. Um, I want to do heel training. Because I know that's a big thing we need to work on. Because his basics are good. His tasks are good. His healing is not so good. So, that might be something we do today. Right, Riddler? Yeah. So now I'm going to get yesterday's vlog worked on. I will check back in with you guys later. We're also going to like run a bell ground so I can at least take care of a... Uh, My brother's vlogging both. for the first time. Look at him so grown up. Oh, no vlog families. Hi, guys. Yay. So, we are about to go and grab Mom's card and head off to Wally World. Yay! What she said. AKA hell. We're also gonna run, we're also gonna uh, grab lunch, run by the battlegrounds for you to pick up like one thing. And that's pretty Thumbs much Thumbs up it. for my brother doing his first vlog. It's so cute. Technically this isn't my first vlog. Back when I did commentaries, I did like vocal vlogs but on so YouTube. You realize vlog basically means vocal blog or video blog, right? That's what the V stands for. That's true. Isn't he precious? He's learning the YouTube. Ray, stop he does embarrassing you. me in front of my fans. So I embarrass myself in front of my fans all the time. But if you don't know, my brother does um, vinyl comedy, which is like Funko Pops made into webcomic kind of things. It's pretty cool. And I also do uh, Funko Pop video reviews. So if you're interested in other weird nerdy stuff besides my weird nerdy stuff then go follow him on find axel 3d dark and that will be my brother so up we go on our adventure hey guys so right now i am in my room alone the dogs are downstairs with my mom yeah um so what has today been my hair is being weird let me see if i can fix that sort of got it nailed it um so tyler and i Went by Battleground so he could pick up something. And then we went to Panda for lunch. We went to Civitan Park to walk a lap. And of course do Pokemon. Yeah. That's the great thing about Pokemon Go. You can get your exercise. You can get items for Pokemon. You get a lot of benefits for the game. And you also get physical benefits for yourself. 
and of course mental benefits because exercise is good for your mental health. Hooray! Um, then we went to Walmart, uh, which kind of stressed me out. I think mainly because I bought a pair of leggings. And that was stressing me out beyond anything. And now I realize they're not, they don't fit the way I like them to, so I'm going to be taking them back tomorrow. But for some reason I was feeling so panicked about my mom finding out that I bought a pair of leggings. Makes sense? I think not. And then got home, realized, oh crap, forgot dog food. So I had to go to Tractor Supply to get dog food. And it was kind of funny. Um, I was talking to a customer because they have, they're getting a new dog. It's a little Jack Russell mix. And then one of the employees looked at me and was like, your dog's been here before, right? And I was like, yeah. I can't remember what your dog was. He was doing something. Training to be a service dog? Yeah, that's it. Silver hair, red vest? Yep, that's the one. That's my boy. So apparently, my dog is remembered. Yay! And I'm sort of remembered. I mean, isn't that eventually going to be it where my dog is remembered more than me? <laughs> but I mean, she clearly didn't remember our names, but that is fine. I just think it was pretty awesome the fact that we got remembered at all, so hooray! Um, and also went and got meds for Dad, and now I'm back home, just binging on American Horror Story. I have finished Coven, which was awesome, and now I'm on Freak Show, and I'm so excited because that was the one I wanted to be on. Um, but for some reason, anxiety is just going. I'm a bad anxiety attack, heart racing, like not feeling good um I was trying to like scratch at myself a lot or like start doing this thing um and I think it's because I feel like I need to have some kind of physical release of anxiety and I mean I will say in the past I have done a little bit worse things um and those thoughts do come back welcome to life um, but I'm trying to keep from that, so. <sighs> for right now, I'm just watching American Horror Story. I want to get the inspiration to write. I have a new idea for a fan fiction, as usual, so. Oh, and my brother got me something for my birthday. Hold on one second. I want to show you. Check it out, guys. Hold on one second. Ah, crap. I broke it. <laughs> Hold on one more second while I get the stupid thing figured out. Ta-da! Kylo Ren lightsaber. Woohoo! There we go. So excited about it. My brother is like, here, you either get this one or a Darth Vader one. Which one do you want? I'm like, you know, I have a Kylo Ren cosplay, so now it's finished. Yay! And there, look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's really good detail on it. Um... Uh, probably can't see it but it's so cool let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like when you shoot out the blade because it's kind of fun okay da, da, da. I'm trying to push it back in with my arm hold on one second again yeah boy I think I accidentally hit it on my bed but oh oh whoops I did well I've nearly broken my own lightsaber already but yay there it is You just push it all in, and you're good to go, except this is not wanting to go in, and I don't know why. Really annoying, but oh well. So, thanks, Tyler, for my birthday present. Hooray! And, yeah, that's, that's all that's been going on today. Emeril? Pa? Yes. Good boy. Pa? Yes. Touch. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Can you do pressure? Nope. Pressure. All the way. All the way down. Yes. Good boy. Yay. Oops. Good boy. Stop. Stop. Sassy, no ma'am. Sassy up. Sassy up. 
No, ma'am. No. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, sir. Emerald, sit. Hey, sit. Emerald, hey. Sit. Yes. Place. Place. Yes. Focus. Focus. Ah, focus. Focus. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. Focus. Yes. Good boy. Ready? Leave it. Leave it. Get it. Yes. Good boy. Yay. Ready? Leave it. Leave it. Get it. Good boy. Yes. Ready? Paw. Hey. Paw. Yes. Paw. Nope. Paw. Touch. Key touch. Emerald. Touch. Yes. Paw. Yes. Both. Yes. Head. Can you do head? Head. Nope. Head. <laughs> Come on. Head all the way down. Good boy! All done! Hey guys! There's Amarel sleeping. There's Sassy sleeping. And there's Riddler sleeping. And I'm soon about to be sleeping. I just finished... What episode am I on now of season 4? Oh gosh, I don't even remember anymore. I think it's episode 3 I'm about to be on? Yes. Either 3 or 4. Um... And I am loving Freak Show so much, which I knew I would really enjoy it. So far, the only season I really haven't liked was Hotel. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just feel like it went a little far, like, above and beyond what is normally done in American Horror Story. So, eh. Um, but I had a thought today, and also had a thought a couple days ago, that I wanted to discuss with you guys. And it is the topic of fidget spinners. Or fidgety toys in general. So, you guys know I have mine. My wonderful fidget cube. I love this thing. Um, so, mainly with fidget spinners. I've been seeing where this is becoming a fad. Like, the other day when I was at the mall with my brother, and there was this dance competition going on with these little kids, so, you know, I can watch them dancing, because it was really cute. And then I saw a group of kids playing with fidget spinners like showing off tricks to each other and I've been seeing fidget spinners being sold everywhere now and they're in all sorts of ways they're metallic they light up they do this or that and now it's kind of annoying to me that the fidget spinners are a fad because in case people didn't know this those toys were meant for people with like ADHD autism anxiety things like that why I have my fidget cube because surprise I have anxiety and that cube helps me a lot <laughs> um, and kids who don't have any kind of mental issue that can be helped with a fidget toy are being stupid in class because this is the main problem that I'm seeing is people doing this in schools kids are being stupid and they're like doing tricks during class they're not paying attention they're you know, throwing their spinners around. And this could potentially get spinners banned from schools. Which is horrible for those who need them. So there was this article I had read on Facebook about this math teacher. She had a student who was severe ADHD. He had a lot of difficulty focusing in class. He didn't do very well because he couldn't focus. Just a lot of issues. So she ended up giving him a fidget cube. And he was able to pay attention. Like, for the first time in forever, he was actually able to do his work and focus. And he was a happy kid. But then, of course, her neurotypical kids had those fidget spinners and are being stupid and doing, like, tricks and messing around with them during class. 
Which probably a lot of kids are like, oh, I need this to focus, but clearly you're just playing around with a spinner. I mean, you may be like, Raven, why are you even caring about it? You're not in school anymore. I care for our future generations. I care for the kids with ADHD and autism and anxiety and whoever else needs a fidget thing. Because if you need it to help you in life, then you need to be able to have access to it. Like, having a fidget item to help with your mental disorder is like being on medication or having a service dog or going to therapy. It's an option to help you. Which I know for me, when I'm really anxious and need something to do with my hands, this one is my personal favorite. I also like the spinny spinny and the other spinny spinny and of course the clicky doodle yes there are words for this so that's just the thoughts i've been having tonight while i was at walmart i saw where they were having a little stand selling fidget spinners and i was just like Ugh. and i've told you guys about my brother he has asperger syndrome which is high functioning autism and even he says that it's dumb that people nowadays are just buying them as a fad he personally does not have one. He probably could, it'd probably be useful for him, really. Because he's also ADHD. But he doesn't understand why, like, neurotypical kids are buying these things just to screw around with. And, I mean, I don't get it either, so. I hate that an item that is useful to help people with mental illness is being treated like a fad. Look, guys, these are not... Those rubber brand things that were shaped like creatures. I can't remember what those are called anymore. They're not like... They're not the next fad toy or fad item. Remember when Furbies were a fad, guys? Probably. I think a lot of you are actually around my age or older, so you may actually know what Furbies are. <laughs> Basically, fidget spinners have become the new Beanie Baby. But... Fidget spinners are meant to help people with mental disorders. And they are being abused, in a way. I guess that's a way to think about it, so. If you're watching this, and you do not have a mental disorder, and you have a fidget spinner just to screw around with, don't do it at school. Because there could be a student in that class who needs a fidget toy. And you could be the reason that it gets banned from your school, so... Don't be a jerk face. And to the rest of us that need our fidget toys, cheers to fidgeting. And now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, tell me your opinion on this whole fidget spinner fad thing. Like if you agree or disagree or whatever. Let me know why. I'm curious. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Amarelle. Good night, sassy girl. And good night, Mr. Realer.